Welcome to part 2 of the ionic angular reactive form tutorial. In this tutorial, we will develop a sign up page with the angular reactive forms. Let's start by designing the form in the HTML. We add here the form tag. Set the registration form as the name of the form group. Add the controls that are required in the sign up form. Like here we will add the name, email, mobile, password, confirm password and a submit button. For each control we will set the form control name. A simple design is ready here. Import a form builder, form group, form control and validators. Import a data service that we already developed in the part 1 of this tutorial. Alert control is required to show the alert on the successful submission of the form. Add here the create form method which use the form builder to create a registration form. Add here the fields of the form. The first field is name. For this form control, we will not set any initial value, but add the validators. Mainly the validators that we can add here are uh, mean length, max length, required validator and a pattern. We can add here the regex for the pattern. Like for the name, the digits are not allowed. A proper email format uh, we can compare with the regex expression. These are the built-in validators that we are using. Programmer can also uh, write own custom validators. Like in the sign up form, we need to match the password and confirm passwords. So no, no built-in uh, validator is provided. So in that case, we can uh, develop our own custom validator. Submit method. Let's check here uh, if the form is valid after the input. So the required fields password and confirm password not uh, added here. Form is invalid. After giving the input, now the form is valid. Now here we will add a validation error messages, type of the validator and the corresponding error message. For each field we add here tags to display the validation error. Only after clicking the submit button, it displays the validation errors.
we are add the confirm validator we take two control password and confirm password compare their values if the values are same it said errors to null otherwise it returns the validation error we add this custom validator in the create form method validation error messages for the custom validator let's check it any random password password is invalid correct password but not matching now change the confirm password now it's working fine here we call the service method to submit data to the server so data is submitted let's cross check the database we will check the response from the servers if the status is okay we will display here the alert that a registration is done otherwise display the error message we set here the submit error and in the html we will add the tags to display this error so it displaying the error mobile number or email already exist registration done okay now after the successful submission our form should get reset for that we will call here the reset method of the form we comment here rest of the code oops on the submission it's showing the validation errors to avoid this we add here this code actually iterate through the controls and call the set error method which set the errors to null i hope this tutorial will help you it's so write in the comments
Don't forget to subscribe our channel, like the videos. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.